Hi everyone, I'm Ofa Lango and welcome you all in grammar in detail. If you are new and not subscribe the channel, so subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get some more videos about grammar. Today we have got the second kind of pronoun that is known as indefinite plural pronouns. So let's start. You know, indefinite plural pronouns have got the same definitions which we had in indefinite singular pronouns. So, definite, indefinite pronouns, indefinite singular and indefinite plural pronoun, they all have got the same definition. Those pronouns which don't show the exact number of nouns are called indefinite pronouns. Then for indefinite singular, how you will say? Those pronouns which don't show the exact number of nouns are called indefinite singular pronouns. And for the indefinite plural pronouns, you'll say those pronouns which don't show the exact number of nouns are called indefinite plural pronouns. Singulars are used for the singular and plurals are used for the plural. So what are the indefinite plural pronouns? You know, uh, they are uh, some 12 or 13, many, few, a few, the few some enough a lot of and much little a little and the little keep in your mind whatever i have written in green they are used for keeping your mind countable and what i have written in red they are used for countable and uncountable both and what i have written in blue they are used for uncountable so this should be in your mind Blue ones are used for the uncountable, red ones are used for the countable and uncountable both and the uh, green ones are used just for countable. So they are divided into two parts, the countable, uncountable and red is in between them. They are used with countable and uncountable both. Now their meanings we will understand one by one then we will go towards the examples. You know many means which you do not know the exact number. I say you know there are many. Few means they are, you know, uh, maybe, you know, 30% and a few means they are 15 to 20% and the few as well, it means 15%. But they are 15%, we need more and they are 15%, but we need the same one, not more than that. Then I will make the examples, it will be clear for you. Some means, you know, you can say 50% and enough means how much they are, how many or how much they are, that is what depends on you sometimes 100 is not enough for you sometimes 5 is enough for you so this is what you know enough it depends on your need and requirement a lot of means more than the requirement then that for that we use a lot of now un for uncountable we use like first one much it is like many opposite of many little is the opposite of you know few in uncountable we use little but with countable we use few like 30 percent and in the same way we have got the a little, a little means, you know, 15 to 20 percent. We need more than that. The little is the 15 percent. Uh, how much is required? The same we need. Clear. That is known as little, much, little, a little and the little. Now we will look at the examples. Examples we have got for the countable and uncountable noun both. First, we will be discussing the examples of countable. I told you whatever are written in green, they are used for the countable. And red means for countable, uncountable both. Like see, I have written here some, enough, a lot of and here also some, enough, a lot of. They are used with countable, uncountable both. If A is asking a question, are there students in the class? Clear. If I say there are many, see instead of students, I am using the pronoun many. But I don't know the exact number. That's why it is called indefinite plural pronoun. Because there are many. If I say there are few there are few means there are 30 percent you know and if i say there are a few 15 percent in the class so i need more than that you know for example you know uh, in class there are 50 chairs kept and the students are some eight or nine so i will say there are uh, a few students and the few students you know for my requirement it is enough i cannot control more than 15 students uh, i have there are the few and in the same way there are some, it means 50%. And if I say there are enough, they are enough for me, whether they are 50, 20, 30, 40, any depends on the requirement. There are a lot of, for example, there are 50 chairs. There are 50 chairs, you know, in the class. And the students are, for example, more than 50, 20, 50, 53, or maybe 54. So I will say there are a lot of. So they are used in the place of noun. 
and they are not showing the exact number and they are used for plural that's why we call them indefinite plural pronouns and they are used for the countable next we will be discussing the uncountable nouns c is asking a question is there water in the glass now see it is we are talking about water now the exact uh, you know count uh, the measurement you don't have so you will say for example you know it is a glass and if i say there is much you know that is what you know you could say almost some 70 percent or 75 percent if i say there is little it means the 30 percent and you know that cannot i cannot uh, you know f uh, finish my 30ness thirstiness and okay. after that if i say there are there is a little a little means 15 percent but I need more than that because it is it uh, it is quite less. Even I cannot make my, uh, you know, uh, thirstiness. Uh, uh, I cannot burn my thirstiness by this. And if I say uh, there is the little, the little, they are fifty. That is fifty percent, fifteen percent. But I need the same. Maybe I am throwing to someone in order to awake him. He is he or she is sleeping. So for that it will be the little. So a little means they are quite less. Uh, I need more uh, clear and that is used for the third, uh, 15% and if I say there is uh, there is some see with countable we use are in the plural and with uncountable we use is there is some there is some means 50% and there is enough enough is now depend it depends on you sometimes this is enough for you sometimes this this place sometimes this so you can start it from 100 to uh, Ten percent. That is that depends on enough. And there is a lot of. For example, you know, it is filled with uh, hundred, or it is maybe more than you know hundred and five, maybe hundred and six. So hundred and one even will be uh, falling from the glass. You know, so you'll say there is a lot of. So that is known as uh, the indefinite uh, plural pronouns for the uncountable. Now you know. Keep in your mind. I'll clear one thing more for you people. If after countable nouns, uh, uh, the un, uh, uh, after the countable pronouns, if you are using nouns, then they become adjectives and they become numeral adjectives. Like there are many students. If you said there are many students in the class, there are few students, there are a few students, there are the few students, there are some students, there are enough students, there are a lot of students in the class. If you are putting students after the some many few, then they become numeral adjectives. And after them, if you put, there is much water in glass, there is little water in glass, there is a little water in glass, there is the little water in glass, there is some water in glass, there is enough water in glass, there is a lot of water in glass, then they come in uncountable, uh, you can say quantitative adjectives, quantitative adjectives, which we will be discussing in adjectives. But keep in your mind, after them, you, you are not going to put the nouns over here. If you put them, uh, up, if you put after them the nouns, then they will be changed into adjectives. And with countable, then they will be called the numeral adjectives. And over there, uh, in uncountable, they will be called the quantitative adjectives. So be careful; you are not going to put the adjectives. And when we will discuss the adjectives, then I will further clear it to you people. Where do we use the pronouns and where do we use the adjectives? Nouns we use pronouns we use uh, uh, in the place of nouns. So if you already know the uh, know about the noun. There you will not be putting the uh, uh, noun in your answer. But if you, if someone does not know directly, if you are saying, if I say there are some, so you will not get what some. If I say there are some students in the class, so then students uh, there I will be using as adjective. Uh, the some I will be using uh, as an adjective because you do not know the noun about. And if you already know the noun about, then there is no need to put them after the pronouns. And if you put them, then they become adjectives. So, hope you got today's lecture. Wish you best of luck. See you next time with next lecture. Goodbye.